All right, guys. As promised, I was gonna give you a tour of the new shop. Let's check it out. Got the waiting room. Got my office. Little hallway over here. Restroom. And then last but not least, the work area. This place is fucking huge. I don't think you understand how excited I am for this place. We got a total of five bay doors. Two of them being full-size bay doors where you can fit two vehicles side by side. That gives a total of seven vehicle surface bays. Yeah, I'm just this place is fucking big. I'm telling you, <laughs> I wasn't kidding when you guys, when I told you guys in the last video this place is big, I, I wasn't fucking kidding. But yeah, it's gonna be real stressful this next couple, maybe three weeks. Uh, I basically have less than, less than three weeks to move out of my old shop. And this shop right now needs a lot of work. Uh, hold on, make it darker. First things first is we gotta get the floors done. All this has to be grinded down to bare concrete. We also have to etch it, put the first coating, a clear coat, and a protective top coat. So that's the first things first, or that's the first thing we gotta do. Um, after that, then we can start putting the lifts in, and then the electrical for the lifts, hopefully some air, get my new air compressor, dryer, and uh, get the piping ran. But main thing is get the floors done and get at least one or two lifts in there so we can start doing business here because I gotta get out of my old shop by the 15th of June. And yeah, it's just, we gotta, we gotta make ends meet. We gotta figure something out somehow, some way. Plus, I'm going to Vegas early June. That's gonna fuck a lot of things up. I'll be out for about four or five days, so that's four or five days that I can't take back, but I gotta make it work. It's for my boy, I gotta make it work. But. Anyways, the plan for the shop is, let me make it darker. Uh, the plan for the shop is to have four 10,000 pound bend pack lifts. One, two, three, and four. I wanna get a 15,000 pound bend pack lift just for when I work on larger trucks. It will also be a taller lift so that the taller trucks, we can still be able to stand under them. Plus, I mean, I know most trucks are under 10,000 pounds, but quite honestly, I would not put a 9,000 pound vehicle on a 10,000 pound lift. That's just not me. So, that's the whole reason why I'm gonna go that route. Uh, next to that, I'm gonna put a four post, 14,000 pound alignment lift from Benpack. Depending on how things go, I'll be able to get an alignment machine if not, we're gonna have to wait. At least we'll have the lift ready to go. This area I designated. Oh, there's a restroom. Two fucking restrooms. Can you believe that shit? Anyways, this area I designated for. Um, let me make it lighter. I designated for my little work area where I do metal fabrication, also storage. I plan on making it like a kitchen. I wanna have a workbench that goes in an L shape like this. Under that will be metal drawers, probably some toolboxes, but they're gonna be used to store a lot of the smaller components or tools that I don't usually use. I'm gonna have that run probably up to right around here. Then I'm gonna have a, um, an island workbench, probably uh, made out of a full, full metal, probably a half inch or five eighths inch steel. That way I can weld, heat won't be a problem, uh, and I'll just have a solid work base to be able to, to use. That one I plan on putting on rollers so I can move it around. Also utilize it for removing engine assemblies. And by engine assemblies, I mean when the engine, transmission, subframe, steering rack and suspension gets dropped out of a car from under as a whole. So we can utilize a, a, a big rolling workbench, put it under a car, lower a car on it, unbolt everything and raise the car off the bench and roll it out. Um, other than that, we're also gonna have just this area for a, Storage, I might get a squat. <laughs> uh, 
I might, I might put a squat rack and a bench, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know. It's supposed to be for storage. You never know. I might end up putting a squat rack and a bench. I don't know. Uh, another big plan I have is on the very top above the office, I want to reinforce that and actually put a second floor. Uh, plan is to, you know, just this main area, have a little place for me, like a little break room for my employees to hang out. You know, probably some couches, a TV, something like that. And then utilize that side of the upstairs for storage. I don't know yet, I'm just putting it in the air. That's not a priority, uh, but I'll figure it out as I go. But yeah, here, you know, I made this video because I promised you guys a tour. Here it is. But yeah, I don't think you can tell how fucking excited I am. This shit, it's, it blows my mind knowing that I was able to acquire something like this. I'm just so fucking happy. I'm ecstatic about this, but. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. See ya.